Hey, is someone gonna tell me that why current doesn't decrease on passing through a resistor? Let's see if we can get the answer. Okay, so our doubt is very simple and clear. So let's say that we have one resistor here. Now it is being told that if five ampere of current is coming in, then the same amount of current will left our resistor, right? So five ampere here as well as here. Hey, what is happening here? Resistor is supposed to decrease the current. Like that's what the work of resistor is. So does this mean that resistor it's not doing its work properly? So if that is happening, then we can just kick out the resistor from our circuit. Like we don't need it anymore. But after all this, it turns out that we are doing some mistake. Like there is some misunderstanding in our understanding of resistor and current. So that is what we are going to clear next. Okay, so the problem here is in our approach. Yes. So first of all, I will tell you the wrong approach that we take, and then after that, I will tell you the correct answer or the correct approach. So let's see. So what is our wrong approach? So what we usually do is that first of all we assume that there is some voltage, right? Twelve volts. and some resistance 4 ohm okay and after that okay we know that v is equals to ir then 12 volts is equals to 4 ohm into i so after that we got that i or our current is 3 ampere right that's what we do now what we think is that 3 ampere of current will come from the wires right and then it will meet the resistor and now after that the current should decrease that's what we think but now if you were to think carefully you will definitely get the answer so that was our wrong approach now the one thing we can do or the first thing we can do is that we can think about the current without a resistor so let's just pull out our resistor from our circuit and now let's see the value of current So here you can see that current is getting out of limit, right? So this is happening because we are assuming that even the wires have zero resistance. Okay? So you can see the value of current here. Now let's put our resistor or let's add our resistor in our circuit. And now after that you can see that current has become three ampere. So Initially our current was this much and now it has become this like now it has become 3 ampere so can you see the current has actually decreased right well right now just for simplicity like i am replacing this number with 7 ampere just for simplicity because we are here to understand right so from 7 ampere our current has become 3 ampere so current has actually decreased so now why we want that 3 ampere will come and after the after passing through a resistor it will decrease one more time right it has already decreased so what we think is that from the wire the current will come and now there is 4 ohm resistance for a particular length only well this is where we make mistake right so when we say that there is 4 ohm resistance in our circuit it means that throughout the circuit the resistance is 4 ohm it's not like that for that particular length of a resistor the resistance is going to be 4 ohm no throughout the circuit the resistance is 4 ohm and throughout the circuit our current is going to be 3 ampere right it will not decrease one more time it has already decreased right so from 7 we have already got 3 ampere okay so throughout the circuit our current is going to be constant until and unless it is a parallel connection 
because in parallel connection definitely our current will get divide but in other cases the current is going to be constant throughout the circuit right so that was the correct approach right the current has already decreased right so now after 3 ampere it will not decrease again and if it is decreasing then it means that there is a disbalance of charge in our circuit and we cannot have that right so i hope that now it is very clear so how we have to think so we have to think about the current when there is no resistor so let's say that was 7 ampere just for simplicity and after when we put our resistor in our circuit the current has become 3 ampere so current has actually decreased right now after that throughout the circuit our resistance is 4 ohm and throughout the circuit our current is going to be 3 ampere why right? it will not decrease one more time so that was our wrong approach and i have told you the correct approach or how we have to think about okay so now final conclusion is that so our question which was that why current doesn't decrease on passing through a resistor that question itself is not correct right and our wrong approach made us to ask that wrong question so right now i hope that you have understood the correct approach and you have got your answer right so i hope that you understood this if you really did then don't forget to hit the like button and if you enjoy learning this way then hit the subscribe button right i will meet you in our next video till then thank you very much for watching